This is the Daily Love Podcast. Hello, V. Legire, orare, vivere. To read, to pray, to live the word made flesh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Hello to all of you listening. This is Maria on behalf of the Lexio Divina team bringing you the Daily Love Podcast. We are now in the Lenten season. Lent is a wonderful time for us all to learn or relearn the story of our salvation, which is at the heart of our baptism. It is by exploring the Word of Christ that we root ourselves in Him, deepen our relationship with Him, and see His presence in our life. So dear brothers and sisters, let's all begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Spirit of Truth who comes from the the Holy God enlighten our minds and lead us all to the truth as your Son promised. Amen. So today we are in the Gospel according to Luke and we read chapter 9 verses 23 and 24. Then to all he said, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, Let him renounce himself and take up his cross every day and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it. But anyone who loses his life for my sake, that man will save it. So just a few things to nourish our reflection on these verses. Are you willing to be sponged out, erased, cancelled, made nothing? Are you willing to be made nothing, dipped into oblivion? If not, you will never really change. The phoenix renews her youth only when she is burnt, burnt alive, burnt down to hot and flocculent ash. Then the small stirring of a new small bub in the nest with strands of down like floating ash shows that she is renewing her youth like an eagle, immortal bird. Jesus, because of love, was destined to suffer, be rejected, and face death. As his followers, we too are called to embrace this path to the cross by losing ourselves so as to gain eternal life. This path of dying to self is not at all pleasant and pleasurable. It requires us to go against our desires and to change by giving up certain worldly ambitions, pride, selfishness, etc. It calls us to become nothing in the eyes of the world, but great in the eyes of God. Are we willing then to be made nothing? tossed into oblivion, like the phoenix, do we have the courage to burn our ego completely so that the life of God springs forth and renews us from within? Jesus, I want to take up the cross and follow you. I know that this requires me to die to myself and lose my life so that I can gain your fullness of life. Jesus, Help me to be willing to be nothing for your sake. So just a question for us to meditate on today. How can I learn to follow Jesus in the way of the cross? Today, the prayer intentions are for all of you listeners and our love verbium dear family composed of 267 members, especially for Abin, daily gospel and commentary group member. We pray our Lord Jesus Christ to protect him and give him the grace to always see God in all that he does. O loving Father, Grant him the courage to carry out every good work for the building of your kingdom. May our Lord protect Aaron and deepen his faith, strengthen his hope, 
and increase his love. We now pray for our three communities, as Motherly Legion of Mary from Teresa's Church Living Water in Trinidad and Tobago, and for our clergy and religious. For Robert and his proceeding towards ordination as deacon, and for all seminarians in the Clifton Diocese, that they may listen to the voice of the Lord and follow it with courage and joy. For Morgan, who entered the Carmelite Order as a novice, and is finding it difficult. For Father Richard and the volunteers of the St. Nicholas of Tolentino's food bank, and all the people in great need in these difficult times. The St. Vincent de Paul priests, Father John O.C.D., Father Francis, Father Valens, Father Rupert, Father Adam, and Father Larry, including our Bishop Declan and our Holy Father Pope Francis. We now conclude this time together by bringing all our attentions towards our merciful Mother Mary, so that she may intercede for us to her beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all for listening and praying with us. God bless you all, and please share with your friends, relatives, and community. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube, and to follow us on Instagram. The LOD Verbum Dei Ministry hopes that this podcast helps you to deeply welcome the Word of God and give you the strength to put the Word into practice where you are. If you have any query or you want to send us your prayer intentions, use our email address which is lov l.o.v underscore verbum dei v-e-r-b-u-m-d e i at outlook dot com thank you